Hi guys, it's Tim from Advanced In Car Technologies. Hope you're all well. Uh, we're back in the Audi today, proving on the uh, building from the really popular Google update that we did last week on how it's now working with CarPlay, which was an awesome video. It's been really well received and in less than a week, we've had uh, just under 20,000 views. So thank you very much for watching it and sharing it and commenting it. It's been really great so far. So um, Waze, they announced yesterday that they were updating their app and you need to make sure to, one of two things. First is that your iPhone is updated to the latest iOS 12 and you also need to make sure that your Waze has also updated. So this came uh, today actually. Saving time and avoiding traffic is even easier with these updates. Waze now works with CarPlay, connect your iPhone and use Waze conveniently from your built-in car display on supported models only. I haven't quite found out what on supported models only means just as yet, um, but we'll plug it in and, and see what we go. So we've got our iPhone cable here. We'll plug it in, we'll see what happens. So it's recognized that it's picking up there and I can see CarPlay is now activated and straight up we've got Waze. Look at that lovely blue icon just down there next to our Google Maps. Um, it's a much needed upgrade for the system because like I said on the last one, Apple Maps is all right, but I think it's there are better apps out there like Google and like Waze. I use Waze all the time when going to London and stuff like that. So we're quickly going to run through the Waze uh, app and how it works and feels and all this sort of stuff and all the different options. I'm not going to bore you to death. I want it to be a really quick video so you can see how it works, some of the different functions that are available to you, uh, just so that you can really get to use it. So we'll click straight in. I was having a little bit of a play around this early, earlier and just did a very quick route into pool. So first and foremost, we get a nice crystal clear display. Um, this isn't specific to the Audi system. If you've got CarPlay, then this is how it's gonna feel. The, the only downside is within this Audi is that we don't have a touch screen. So I have to use the MMI controls that are, that are down there. Um, so first and foremost, we can see traffic here moving along here. I can see it over straight up in the distance. I don't know if I'll be able to uh, move across so that you can see it so up here you can see the traffic it says there's 10 miles now of traffic at the moment I did see some things over here as well I'll zoom out and see if we can see them again there you go so over here um, there is actually traffic works going on at the moment so that's why those little icons are there let's see if we can see any more anywhere so here you go, as you zoom out, you can see more traffic jams and routes and also if we go a bit, speed cameras over here, I've just seen that. Let's move up here towards more to pull. Again, we've got five mile an hour traffic alerts, speed cameras, traffic light cameras, all of that sort of stuff. So that's really cool. That's already an up over Google mapping straight off the bat, uh, which I'm quite impressed with. So if we recenter it and go back to where we are, we got a nice little car down here. We got an arrival time of 16.27. I think I did this to a fleet services. We can get an overview. We can zoom in and out on that. And we've also got the done there. So what we'll do is we'll just do a very quick stop. Um, you can add your favorites in there. Obviously advanced in cars always gonna be your favorite. You've got um, your built-in Siri uh, and voice control. I'm not gonna get it to do anything because it's pretty pretty standard stuff but some of the functions that you can do according to um, Waze are and I shall get it to come up in a minute drive to Ashley Road all right searching for Ashley Road okay so there's there's some results straight away Ashley Road done easy so simple um, so that's the voice control aspect of it. Um, let's see what else we've got. We've got our postcode search here. Let's go to a, a postcode very quickly, one that we know, uh, BH17. If you've got touchscreen, then obviously it's a lot easier, but on the Audis, it's a bit more of a bit of a clunky process, but who cares, you've got ways on there. Um, zero. HF, this was our last address. Here we go, search. So it's always using your phone data so that you can see what's going on there. 
the beauty of this is that it's all up to date and it's always going to be the latest information which is really cool so there we go it's found us where we were going to be going which is really cool so um down here i don't know if you've noticed it is if you use ways there's that little icon where you can report certain things so we have things like we can report police oh close that down because we don't want to do that we've got other things like accident traffic so we'll see what accident offers nothing too fancy there oh let's go and spot off right now uh, let's see what the traffic's like so traffic which we all know moderate heavy standstill um, let's just say that there's heavy but we'll close the report so yeah, it's a really functional bit of kit now that they've updated to Waze. Um, I'm just checking on the Audi MMI system to see if it's giving you any routing information on there. I can't see anything at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll just um, very quickly route to somewhere and we'll see turn left. how it works. And then turn left. So we'll start the car turn up. Turn left and then turn left. Left turns everywhere. Right, so we'll drive forwards. Hopefully it's not going to be too bumpy on the ride. Let's just get out of this car park. So unfortunately it's put that there's an accident there, which we know that there isn't. Turn left. So hopefully the sun isn't turn too... Left. Hopefully the sun isn't too much for you and you can see what is actually going on. So there you go. All we'll do is we'll do a quick loop round so that you can see how it all looks and feels. Sorry it's a bit shaky. But yeah, Turn it, left. it's so much nicer. And then, at the roundabout, take the first exit. So turning left. And I'm just going to very quickly go round the roundabout. At the roundabout, take the first exit. We'll stop it. We'll get it to navigate to a advanced in car tech so you can see how it works. At the roundabout, take the third exit and then turn right. There you go. There's definitely some traffic at 10 miles an hour on that road that we've just gone past. Turn right. We'll turn right. Hopefully someone lets us out. And it's a really nice crisp colour display as well, which I'm really keen, I'm really glad that they've done because sometimes I think Waze sort of brushed it out a little bit because they knew Google Maps was uh, they'd already released it as it were. Um, so let me just reposition the camera a little bit. Oops. Uh, we can see that we're you have gonna reached be there. your destination. And there you go. So um, hopefully you found this review uh, relatively informative. You can see how to use uh, Waze and you've now learned how to use Google Maps on a previous video. Um, so as more apps come available, I think we're gonna start to do more of these uh, little videos. So uh, it's really worthwhile you subscribing to our channel, making sure you like it, um, share, comment. If you've got any questions about Waze and how it works, fire them through, I'm happy to answer any questions that you've got. And most importantly, Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.